In this video, we will delve into the detailed anatomy of the parathyroid glands. We will begin our presentation with an introductory overview, setting the stage for a comprehensive exploration of the parathyroid glands. After the introduction, we will delve into the descriptive anatomy of these glands, detailing their shape, dimensions, and external configuration. Following this, we will discuss the anatomical relationships of the parathyroid glands, highlighting how they are intricately connected to other structures in the neck. Next, we will delve into the vital aspect of the gland's blood and nerve supply. Finally, we will wrap up with key takeaways, summarizing the importance of these glands in both health and disease, and their significance in surgical contexts. Parathyroid glands, typically found as two pairs, a small endocrine gland situated on the posteromedial aspect of the thyroid lobes, encapsulated within the thyroid's protective covering. Interestingly, the number of these glands can vary among individuals, deviating from the common configuration of four. These glands have a critical function in the human body, primarily involving the secretion of parathormone, known as PTH. This hormone plays a pivotal role in maintaining the body's calcium and phosphorus balance. Its main function is to regulate and maintain a normal level of calcium in the bloodstream, which is vital for various bodily functions, including nerve conduction, muscle contraction, and bone health. Additionally, PTH helps in managing the concentration of phosphorus, another mineral essential for bone strength and overall metabolic functions. The parathyroid glands, with their unique anatomy, are small yet vital components of the endocrine system. They typically exhibit an elongated, oval, or bin-like shape, making them distinct in appearance. The coloration of these glands can vary, ranging from a light yellowish hue to a reddish-brown tone, reflecting their rich vascular nature. In terms of size, each parathyroid gland is relatively small, measuring approximately 6 to 8 mm in length, 3 to 4 mm in width, and 2 mm in thickness, with each gland weighing around 30 to 40 mg. Structurally, these glands are composed of two main types of cells, chief cells and oxyphil cells. Chief cells are primarily responsible for the production and secretion of parathyroid hormone, PTH, which is crucial for calcium and phosphorus metabolism in the body. Oxyphil cells, whose function is less understood, increase in number with age. The entire gland is encased in a thin fibrous capsule, which not only provides a protective covering but also integrates the glands with their surrounding tissues, including the blood vessels that supply them. This intricate structure underscores the parathyroid gland's importance in maintaining essential physiological processes, particularly mineral homeostasis. The descriptive anatomy of the parathyroid glands reveals a systematic and strategic positioning within the neck region, vital for their function in endocrine regulation. These glands are generally organized into two distinct pairs, the superior and inferior parathyroid glands. The superior parathyroid glands are characteristically situated near the apex of the thyroid lobes. Their location is strategically close to the external branch of the superior laryngeal nerve, indicating a delicate interplay between the glands and the nerve structures in the neck. This positioning is crucial, as it allows for efficient regulation of hormone secretion in close association with the neurological and vascular systems of the thyroid region. On the other hand, the inferior parathyroid glands are typically found at the base of the thyroid lobes. Their proximity to the inferior thyroid artery and the recurrent laryngeal nerve is significant. The anatomical relations of the parathyroid glands are integral to understanding their function and surgical significance. These glands are intricately connected to several key structures in the neck area. Primarily, they are located on the posteromedial aspect of the thyroid gland. This positioning allows the parathyroid glands to be closely associated with the thyroid, sharing its blood and nerve supply, which is crucial for their coordinated function in endocrine regulation. The thyroid fascia, a layer of connective tissue, encapsulates the thyroid gland along with the parathyroid glands. This fascia not only provides structural support but also plays a role in the compartmentalization of these glands, thereby protecting them and aiding in maintaining their position relative to other neck structures. Another vital anatomical relation is with the recurrent laryngeal nerve. This nerve runs in close proximity to the parathyroid glands. This proximity is significant in thyroid and parathyroid surgeries, as inadvertent damage to this nerve can lead to vocal cord paralysis or voice changes. 
Lastly, the parathyroid glands are located near the inferior thyroid vessels, which include arteries and veins supplying the thyroid and parathyroid glands. Their close association ensures that the parathyroid glands receive adequate blood flow for optimal functioning. The blood supply to the parathyroid glands is a critical aspect of their anatomy, ensuring they function effectively as part of the endocrine system. The primary source of arterial blood to these glands comes from the branches of the inferior thyroid arteries. These arteries, stemming from the thyrocervical trunk, a major branch of the subclavian artery, provide a rich and dedicated blood supply to the parathyroid glands. In addition to the inferior thyroid arteries, the superior thyroid artery also plays a role in supplying blood to the parathyroid glands, particularly the superior parathyroid glands. Originating from the external carotid artery, the superior thyroid artery branches off to provide blood flow to the upper portions of the thyroid gland and, in many cases, extends this supply to the superior parathyroid glands. This dual arterial supply ensures that the parathyroid glands receive a consistent and adequate blood flow, crucial for maintaining their vital role in regulating calcium and phosphorus levels in the body. The venous drainage system of the parathyroid glands is an essential aspect of their anatomy, facilitating the removal of deoxygenated blood and metabolic waste from these glands. This system is primarily integrated with the thyroid plexus of veins, which is a network of veins encompassing the thyroid gland and its associated structures, including the parathyroid glands. For the superior parathyroid glands, venous drainage is typically achieved through the middle thyroid vein. This vein acts as a key conduit, channeling blood away from the superior parathyroid glands and directing it towards larger veins in the neck. The middle thyroid vein eventually drains into the internal jugular vein. On the other hand, the inferior parathyroid glands have their venous drainage predominantly through the inferior thyroid veins. These veins form part of the extensive venous network surrounding the thyroid and parathyroid glands. The inferior thyroid veins are instrumental in draining blood from the inferior parathyroid glands, and they subsequently merge with larger veins in the neck, such as the brachiocephalic veins. The nerve supply of the parathyroid glands, though not directly involved in their hormonal secretion, plays a significant role in the overall physiology of these glands. Unlike many other endocrine glands that are directly stimulated by nerve signals, the primary regulation of the parathyroid glands is through the blood levels of calcium. This regulation is a classic example of a feedback mechanism, where the secretion of parathyroid hormone is closely tied to the circulating levels of calcium in the bloodstream. However, the parathyroid glands do receive a nerve supply, primarily from the branches of the cervical sympathetic ganglia. These nerves are primarily vasomotor in nature, meaning they control the dilation and constriction of blood vessels. In the context of the parathyroid glands, the sympathetic nerve supply regulates blood flow. By controlling the vasculature around and within the glands, these nerves indirectly influence the function of the parathyroids. For instance, changes in blood flow can impact the delivery of calcium and other substances to the glands, thereby affecting their ability to sense calcium levels and secrete PTH accordingly. This nerve supply, though not directly influencing hormonal secretion, is important for the overall physiological environment in which the parathyroid glands operate. A stable blood supply, regulated by sympathetic nerves, ensures that the glands can effectively monitor and respond to changes in blood calcium levels, maintaining the delicate balance of calcium and phosphorus in the body. Understanding the nerve supply of the parathyroid glands is also crucial during surgical interventions in the neck to avoid unintentional damage to these nerves. In summary, the parathyroid glands are four diminutive but crucial endocrine organs, typically situated on the posteromedial aspect of the thyroid lobes. However, it's important to note the variability in both the number and location of these glands among individuals, a factor that can significantly influence surgical approaches and diagnostic procedures. The principal function of these glands is the production of parathyroid hormone, PTH, a vital regulator of serum calcium and phosphorus levels. This regulation is essential for numerous physiological processes, including bone metabolism, nerve function, and muscle contraction. The significance of the parathyroid glands becomes particularly evident during thyroid surgery. Given their close anatomical association with the thyroid gland and the vital role they play in mineral metabolism, 
it is imperative to meticulously identify and preserve these glands during surgical procedures. Inadvertent damage or removal of the parathyroid glands can lead to significant disturbances in calcium and phosphorus balance, potentially resulting in conditions such as hypocalcemia. Therefore, a thorough understanding of the anatomy, blood supply, nerve innervation, and the variable nature of these glands is crucial for surgeons to minimize the risk of complications. The preservation of the parathyroid glands during thyroid surgery underscores the delicate balance required in surgical interventions in the neck region. It highlights the need for precision and expertise to ensure the continued functionality of these essential endocrine organs, thereby maintaining the critical balance of mineral metabolism in the body.